two years ago we launched Cyberdog. After its launch, we open sourced the pro a platform and 116 research institutes and universities choose to use our platform and conducted 452 research programs. Many of the universities spoke highly of us. Director of the Robot Control Lab of Tsinghua University, Mr. Zhao Mingguo, said Xiaomi in the industry of robotic technology stick to open source. It has promoted the overall development from research development to industrial development. The executive of Orange said they use Cyberdocs platform to develop five products and they also explored the integration of XR technology and the digital twin technology in mixed reality. How to give Cyberdog more application scenarios? Now let's look at our latest product, Cyberdog 2. Do you like it? I asked my engineer what is the selling point of uh, Cyberdog 2. They told me it is more doggy, it is more like a dog, it is smarter, it is more like a dog. Uh, its body type is smaller than the previous generation. It is 8.9 kilogram. It is uh, 36.7 centimeters tall. So it is like a small dog. It is much smaller than a golden retriever. It is. It looks like a Doberman. Why did we develop a small dog? Because two years ago, people suggest that we should size down the cyber dog because a large dog looks scary and dangerous. So people ask us, can we develop a smaller dog? It is difficult to develop a small dog and it took us two years. Why is it difficult to develop a smaller dog? Because of the servo actuator. For smaller dog, it requires smaller servo actuator and the motion of the cyber dog has high requirement to the actuator. It has it it must have precise control and sufficient power and a dog has 12 servo actuator plus the motor reducer so there are 12 sets of uh, servo actuators and each joint is controlled by the servo actuator. It ha has to be extremely small, it has high power, it has to be precise. Now the robotic industry is um, not mature enough. There are very limited suppliers of the actuator. Let's not mention the te technical indicators. When we ask for a quote, the act servo actuator itself is over 2,000 RMB. So one dog needs 12 actuators. So just the servo actuators will cost us 24,000 Chinese yuan. So there is no way we have to develop by ourselves. We developed cyber gear in two years. This cyber gear is very powerful. This cyber gear is only 700 and, uh, 317 gram. It's um, control, uh, uh, control precision of momentum is 0.2 newton meter, and its torque is only 12 newton meter. So the Cyberdog 2 is um, has a very high level movability because of the servo actuator. Let let me show you a video and uh, demonstrate how precise the control can be. We ask Cyberdog to touch the tofu and see whether it will break the tofu or not because the precision of control is very important. See? Very precise control of the power. In addition, it has a better smart biosimulated system. It is very strong in decision making. In this Cyberdog 2, it has 19 sensors, it has a laser radar, it has five camera, uh, cameras, it has four top sensors. It also, it also has a touch sensor. If you touch the dog, it will respond to you. 
when I first saw it, I thought it is like a smart electrical vehicle. Why is it so sophisticated? So the m smarter, the more biosimulated Saba dog is, it requires more sensors. With so many sensors, it also has a brain. This super brain has 21 tops computing power. It is an AI processor with two co-processors, one responsible for motion control, one responsible for voice interaction. With such high computing power, the CyberDog 2 will be smarter and smarter in the future. In order to make it more biosimulated, on a robot reinforced learning platform, we simulated 30,000 dogs for concurrent training. So the training effect is improved by 30,000 times. So CyberDog 2 learned, learned a lot of new tricks. It is getting smarter. First new trick is brisking. No matter how fast the owner walks, it can always keep up. The second trick is continuous backflip. It can also do a flip. See? Very easy and graceful. It can also skateboard. You see, it maintains balance by itself. It is amazing. It has another. Tr it has another trick. So when we develop the cyber dog, because balance is very important, but in the training, cyber dog always fall, and the engineer have to carry it. Uh, have to carry it and put it back up. So we come up with an idea that maybe we should train the dog to rise up on its own. So right now, cyber dog cannot fall easily. And I think perhaps we can show people this, but the engineer told me that it is difficult for the dog to fall. Once they fall, they will rise back up very quickly. And I said, why don't you kick it? And they said, do you have a dog? And I said, no. So they asked me, how can you kick a dog? I said, it's just for an experiment. Let's see. Very easily, it will rise back up on itself. And it, it, it is called auto, uh, graceful rise up after a fall. In addition, it's really smart following the master. When obstacle, when people are on the way, no problem, continue it. Even the bicycle cutting in the beetle, it will not interfere with its tracing abilities. And it's very good at avoiding obstacles. This is our more bionic and smarter generation 2 CyberDog. CyberDog 2 is really powerful. It looks more like a real dog and have a 12 free angles and the speed 1.6 meters per second, very strong computing power and have a cyber generator and accurator, and very good at uh, self-learning. Now you may pay attention to one topic, whether the future of this cyber technology impact our life. Let's show this video for us. <laughs>
好玩吗 ？Isn't that enjoyable? So, this is what our laboratory have to offer, CyberDoc Two. For this new generation, we will continue to open our source to promote the development of a cyber robotic together. At this point, you now understand what Xiaomi is going to do. Not only a very good cyber robotic, but also to push forward with the entire industry so that technologies can better serve the people. What we open, our system code and architect drawings, functional ports and visualized coding tools. If you are interested, you can supply for it on our Xiaomi official website so that we can co-develop. Together, it's highly open. Our team have tried it. We changed the entire structure. It can realize color changing model. Isn't that cool? The structure drawing is open, so it's quite easy to change it. We have a full set of drawings online available. If you want to have an independent looking change, it's easy to realize that. And how about the price for this one? When it comes to pricing, two years ago I forced them to set the price, nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. But then they lost a lot because the cost was too high. They told me that some other teams bought it only for the servers inside. It's like 700 yuan for a server. It's a huge discount. He said that we can. Forget about the R and D cost, but how about the material cost? Let's only by its own way, because we have KPIs for each department. And then they challenged me about the pricing. So for this generation, it's a little bit expensive. Do not over blame me. Let's together support the development of this industry. And for this more bionic one, this is the price: twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine yuan. All right. This is a development platform. It fits. It serves primarily programmers and developers, and also cyber. Professionals it need technology expertise for common users. We do not recommend it for common mainstay consumers. It still needs some way to go. So it's his position as a development platform, and for this price, do not disassemble it for the service. We open this for sale. The price is 499. It's one quarter or one fifth. Of the pricing of the price of our competitors' offerings. Recently, I get to know a new friend, and he is really interested about our development, and he prepared a footage for us. Let's take a look. Human and technology, what connection? Why do humans have imagination? Curiosity, right? 好奇心应该如何定义？好奇心是推动科技的原动力，<笑>也可能显得吧。人应该如何定义？科技又应该如何定义？科技为我们人类带来的是美好的生活，亦或是彻底的颠覆？我们需要以包容的心态。看待科技的每一步，我们需要以更宽广的心胸。嗯，嘿，嚯，给予科技更友善的发展空间。嗯
。人与科技是什么关系？上小米官网和郭帆一起共创机器人的未来。He is Guo Fan, the director of、uh, Wandering Earth. Well, isn't that interesting? He will become our co-creator of scientific humanism with his imaginative power to together help us to empower our development and invite more scientists and artists to join. Together, we can explore the future of bio. Of, of robotics. <laughs>